Hello, welcome to the first episode of Tool or Tip Thursday. This will be a series where I introduce you to a new tool or a new tip that has been proved useful for me in security operations. So today's tool of choice is going to be Sysmon. Sysmon is a free Microsoft tool, part of the Sysinternal suite, and it provides you with a lot of telemetry, which will increase the chance of you catching evil. Sysmon has the capability to monitor a bunch of events and it's fairly customizable. All you need is a configuration file, which is optional, but I do recommend you tailoring that configuration to fit your environment's needs. This configuration essentially tells Sysmon to log this event or not log that event. Today we'll be installing Sysmon along with a configuration file created by Olaf. To install Sysmon, we want to head over to the link that is shown on the screen. And I will also provide this link down in the description below. Also, I will include the configuration file as well. All right, now that I got the test machine up and running, what we want to do is open up a web browser. Once you're on this site, you want to click on download Sysmon. Unless you're running Linux, then you can go ahead and click on the link for GitHub. But since I'm on a Windows machine, we'll click on download Sysmon. And while that's downloading, we should go ahead and start downloading the configuration file that we'll start using for Sysmon. And again, all of this will be in the description down below. Once we're on this page, we want to scroll down to find sysmonconfig.xml. Click on that. Once you're on this page, you want to click on raw. And then it'll load this up. And then you, all you got to do is right click, click save as, and then you can save it as anything you want. In this case, I'll just type in sysmon config and then saves it as that. Now that sysmon has successfully been downloaded, what we can do is start extracting it. So I'll right click it and click extract all. I want to extract. And what we want to do is not double click this executable. Instead, we want to open up a PowerShell window and we might need administrator privileges. So why don't we go ahead and open up a PowerShell with admin privs? So we go on the bottom left corner, click on the windows button, type in PowerShell. From here, you can click on run as administrator, or you can right click and run as administrator. Click yes. And now we want to make sure that we're in the same directory as the extracted sysmon. So in this case, the, the, the directory is C colon backslash user in the user's download folder, essentially. So we want to double click that, copy it via right click copy, or you can do what I did and which is uh, control C. And all we gotta do is jump over to the PowerShell prompt, type in CD for change directory. And just for good practice, you can put it in a quote. Paste that in by right clicking, then quote again. So now we should be in the correct directory. So what we wanna do is also make sure that our Sysmon configuration is in the same directory as well. So in this case, we can either copy it or we can cut it I'll just drag and drop it into that folder, to be honest. Double click it, make sure that it's there. And indeed it is there. Beautiful. You might have noticed that there's various executables for Sysmon. We wanna focus on the Sysmon 64, simply because this is a 64-bit machine. So all we gotta do is just type in Sysmon. Sysmon 64, and then hit tab. That should auto complete for you. And if you hit enter, nothing will happen. It will just show you the help menu. And essentially it'll just tell you how to install it and update the configurations and all that other good stuff. And to double check if we have or have not installed Sysmon, we can do this in a couple ways. So first and foremost, we can go in the bottom left corner, click on the start menu and type in services. Hit enter. This should pop up the services that are installed onto your computer. And then what you want to type in is, or actually what you want to click and type is S. And then you want to look for Sysmon. If there's no Sysmon installed, then you will not see Sysmon. 
So in this case, I can confirm that I do not have Sysmon installed. The second way we can do it is go through event logs. We can do this by typing event viewer, hit enter there. This will show you all of the logs associated with this machine. So what you want to do is click on applications service logs, open that up, and then you want to expand Microsoft. From there, expand Windows. And now we want to look for Sysmon. So if I scroll all the way down, is there going to be any Sysmon? And no, it doesn't seem that Sysmon is installed. So what we want to do now is type in Sysmon again, 64, tab, now that auto completes. And now we want to install the configuration by using the TAC I command. Right here, install service and driver. Optionally, take a configuration file. So we'll press space and type in sysmon. And then we can tab until we find it, or we can just type in sysmon config, since we know that we named it that way. Hit tab and it'll auto complete. From there, we can hit enter. And this will pop up, which is essentially your license and agreement. You can hit agree. And then it should go ahead and run its course and install sysmon. So to double check to make sure that Sysmon is installed, we can run through those steps that I've shown previously. First, we go through the services. We don't have to close and reopen it. We can easily just refresh it. Once I click refresh, you can see that there's Sysmon 64 exists here. Same goes for the Windows Event Viewer. What we can do is click on action, click refresh. And unless I'm a liar, there should be Sysmon somewhere here. All right, so I guess I am a liar. We have to close Event Viewer and reopen it. So again, click the Windows button, type in Event Viewer or Event. And then from there, click on Applications and Service Logs and expand Microsoft, Windows. Scroll all the way down and see if you have Sysmon. In this case, we do. Beautiful. So that is how you install Sysmon and get that up and running. We can click on operational and this will give you a bunch of telemetry about your system and help you catch evil. If you found this video informative, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to.